Hey guys, uh, this is Jordan, and uh, real quick before I start the video today, I just want to let you guys know uh, I am still learning lots of stuff. Uh, I got new camera, uh, new mic, and uh, new software, and all that. So, I mean, if you look back at like my first video, and then you look at these videos, it's it's kind of similar because they're kind of choppy and kind of messed up because I'm still learning with my new stuff. But I mean, as you've watched my videos, you can see where I've kind of progressed along. So, hopefully, uh, here in a month or two. I should have everything pretty well uh, down past so um everything will be nice and smooth so yeah just uh give me some time here and then um the the videos will improve the quality uh should improve and everything will flow more smoothly so uh well let's go ahead and uh, get started with the video hey guys it's jordan here with honda how to and today we'll be uh, looking at how to remove and replace a rear wheel cylinder uh, this is oftentimes what you find on your drum brakes uh, they can leak and go bad and right now i'm just kinda uh, holding around and talking uh, about this wheel cylinder uh, when i'm there but later i found out that i can't actually use the audio because the the commercial music and uh... copyright uh, stuff going on so um, the first thing you're gonna do is find the uh, two bolts in the um, on the back and plate side um, for the wheel cylinder and uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, loosen up those two bolts and that's what uh, that's what's going on right now is he's taking off those two nuts and um yeah that's what disconnects your wheel cylinder well actually I'm sorry the first thing you're gonna do is actually uh, take apart your whole uh, drum brake assembly there but I have this video linked um, to a couple drum brake videos so that uh, um, hopefully you already know what you're doing with the drum brakes so you just click on this video and uh, watch how to do this so that's what we're doing right now so um yeah he's uh removing the nuts there and uh, the next thing you're gonna see him do uh, hopefully I get a good shot looks like I did um he's now uh, loosening the uh, brake fluid line um, with a wrench there and um anytime you use a a wrench um, on a line uh, you, you're always taking a little bit of a risk there it's always a good idea to use a line wrench if you have one laying around somewhere uh, because if you if you strip a fitting uh, it's just it's not a good thing because uh, you can't just uh, find another nut or bolt somewhere yeah like you can't just put another nut on there so uh, if you do have a the convenience of a line wrench uh, yeah go ahead and use that so um, let's see, what's he doing here? Uh, it looks like he's removing, uh, yeah, I think you need to remove the bleeder valve too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think he just, he pulled it out there. And now we're actually looking at the thing, and the boot on this one was tore up pretty bad, and that's why uh, we were replacing the wheel cylinder. So yeah, go ahead, wipe everything down, uh, like you're seeing right there. And... Um, yeah, see how the, the bleeder valve isn't in there currently. That's the new one. So you go ahead and um, stick your new one on there and uh, start get threaded or whatever. And then you're going to um, attach the line. And I mean, I'd do the, the bolts first probably. Um, yeah, so he's got the he's got the line in there. He's putting the nuts on there. So, um, yeah, once you get all that stuff hooked up, um, you're, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, just, I mean, obviously remember to put your your uh, little bleeder valve back in there. Uh, don't lose it. It's small. Yeah, so. Oh, let's see. Let's continue on watching this thing, see if there's anything uh, I'm not thinking of that I need to be talking about right now. Oh, yeah, well, you are going to have to bleed your brakes, too, um, after this. and um, I, There should be an annotation link over right now. Uh, um, to a video that shows you how to bleed your brakes so go ahead and click on that and uh, that's all the video here for today so um thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time